Hi, I'm Naomi with the Naomi Butler Show, and I know it's kind of crooked a little bit, but that's the way it's going to be today. What I'm doing is I mixed up some Mars Black paint with some matte medium and some water. I'm trying to make sure I don't have too much water, but it is a runny mixture, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in something I used to use for poured paintings. It's gonna look weird, but it's a container like this, and I put some freezer paper in it, so it has like a well, if you will, where I'm gonna pour this in. And then I'm gonna use these two handy dandy tools to paint with. This is just a rubber broom, and I'll try to show you a close up. It's got all those bristles that are rubber, and this is that brush that I created and taped with duct tape onto a long, flexible metal rod. It's just one to kind of keep you loose, okay, when you paint. So, these two are my tools today. And I don't know how long this will take because we're just going to have fun. But this is the first layer of paint. I've already done all the other stuff to it. I put molding paste, sanded it down, gessoed over it. So this is the next step. So I've got all this liquid paint that I'm going to pour in the middle of this other container. I'll try to get out as much of the paint as I can. And we're going to just play. We're going to make a mess, I'm sure, but we're going to play. So I've put quite a bit in there and I have maybe a tiny bit left in that container and I'm going to start with the long handled brush because I'm going to kind of put it in that liquidy paint that's left in the green bucket. All right, what I'm going to do right now is because I've had low energy, I've been dealing with shingles. If you watch all my other videos, you'll see all that stuff. But today, I'm going to write an affirmation and I'm gonna kind of control this for just a second. And I'm gonna put, I have energy. <laughs> When you are trying to work with affirmations, you're, you're trying to change the outcome of what you're dealing with. And so now, I'm just gonna kinda just use it with that hand and maybe with this hand. But I wrote, I have energy and that's gonna get covered up with a lot of stuff. I'm sure of it. So I'm gonna to go to the other canvas because we're working on two large 48 by 60 canvases. And I'm gonna put the word healed. This is another affirmation. It's not totally clear, but that word is healed. So. I'm again using up the black paint that's in here, and then I'm gonna kinda just paint uh, whatever comes out with this loose brush. You can tell there's some areas that have the molding paste that are raised. And how to stay out of the camera. I'm just using up this paint that's in here. And I may add some water to it. I forgot a little bucket of water. But I've got my spray bottle of water, so we're gonna substitute. All right, so now I've got more liquidy black paint. And it's a 
long handle brush so I'm gonna go down here to hold the bottom of it and that way there's no control and we'll see what outcome we get now that's just using this brush and this one is so much fun because there it doesn't have to be anything it's just plain it's just freeing it's so the only word I can say is it's freeing because when you paint like this and this is the beginning of many layers you just don't know what it's going to end up but you're having fun at the beginning so I'm having fun I'm just playing with both of these going to probably come closer so I can grab more of it quicker and, and here's what I'm going to do that will surprise you I'm going to splash what I have on here onto my camps here we go mix a little bit of it and not much in there so we get a few dots. I'm going to use up whatever black we have here. I probably just got it all over the room. It's okay. I love that. Okay, so that creates the first step and I'm gonna have this all over my hands that's okay now that liquid paint that I made with some of the matte medium and paint and water mix I'm going to dip this rubber broom into it and get it all around it and we're gonna see what we can do here we're just gonna kind of make the marks and that canvas may fall off that easel if I'm not very careful. I'm just trying to see what it will do. It's kind of fun when you make it do something like that, if you can see that. All right, we're gonna do some of that on this other one. Energy may be the title to this painting, this diptych, which is two paintings in one. They're gonna to go together. Not the same as painting with a brush. It's a little different. That's okay. It's kind of fun. I'm going to go back to this one and add some more. I don't think it has enough. And then I will take time to wash this. Look at that. You just bounce it. It creates a little different background. Now, what I'm going to do though, just so you know, is as I paint these two, they're going to have many, many layers, and I will come back and do something very similar with this with some more black, maybe even other colors, but for sure with the black. I'm wanting to have certain colors attached to this with black and white. I'll be using some jewel tones, mainly blues, purple, red, red.
Okay, I'm going to just kind of get some of that off of that brush. There's still some liquid on there. And I'm kind of mashing those down. Alright, I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to take a brayer. And we're going to make some thicker marks, if you will. up some of this liquid black. Energy is something that I have not had as much as I'd like over the last three years dealing with that C word. And so it means a lot to me to get up and paint when I can and when I feel like I can, even if I'm hurting or don't feel good like today. I'm still hurting with shingles, taking some meds for that, and I'm just pushing through today and claiming that I have energy. So this is an affirmation for sure. And the marks that I'm making, like I say, will probably get covered up, but we're going to start the process here with these two paintings, and they will take on a life of their own. What's interesting is those first marks, because they were more liquidy, you see they're more of a gray, and then this is a more solid black on top of that gray. only because it's not as spread out as it was on that rubber frame. I may take this, pick it up, and just here so I can get a better handle of adding more to it. You're working on big canvases like this. Sometimes you get down on your knees, sometimes you're up high. You just never know what you're going to be dealing with. Okay, that's one way. I'm going to go back to this and dip it in this other liquid paint. I'm not sure what all is on camera. It's tough to get both of these on camera, so I'll just try to stay on the side where you can see it, but I still have to kind of move around the canvas a little bit. These are loose marks. Everything is just whatever happens. So I made some straight marks, I'm making some round marks, and this will all come together after many layers. This is actually going to be some, I don't know, a mixture of large marks, large areas probably, 
it's an intuitive, so no telling what I'll do with it, but I'm just having fun with it. So right now, we're just painting one color, and we might even do something like this to get some of it to drip. When the drips dry, they still might get covered up, but sometimes they don't, and it creates an interesting effect. And these will take on a life of their own. Where they're headed. So all right, I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna take one of these things. This is just a little I don't even know what you call it. A little scraper. We're just gonna see. Yep, it works into that wet paint, it kind of gives you a little bit of a look that that broom made, but it's a little different. Okay, next we're going to take a brush, it's an old brush as you can tell, and we're going to Dip it first into that bucket just to use up all the leftover paint and see what happens. I'm move that back, put this back on the table, and I'm going to just use up the black paint. up quite a bit of it. So, we're just playing. just wrote the word hi. <laughs> I don't think you can see it, but I wrote hi. I usually say hi there, so I'm not sure you can see it. But I'm going to splatter some paint with this brush. Even if I didn't put any colors on this, this is fun. This is really just a lot of fun using black and white.
we have nearly used it all up. I know I can hear you thinking, oh, don't stop, Naomi, don't stop. Keep going, keep going. Keep painting. Right? As you can tell, my hair is starting to grow, but it's still really short. But I've decided lately I'm not putting a head covering on it. And it's taken forever to grow out this time. That's okay. We're getting there. All right. I've used up all of what I think I can. I'm going to do some more drip. what all you can see in the camera so anyway you could even with your spray bottle you can even make them go that way and then when it has the water mixed in it creates a gray instead of a, a black color okay so, there we go. That's the beginning stages. And I think we're going to call these energy because that's what we started out with. And I think it works because I'm going to put a lot of energy into every brush stroke, every thing that I put on these. I will be putting some energy into it. And I think it's going to be a good name for it. So, or for both of them. Energy one, energy two. How about that? A whole new series. We'll see how this goes. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Naomi Butler Show. Ring the bell, and that way you'll be notified of new videos as I publish them. I have other videos related to art, to cancer, to cooking, all kinds of stuff. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.